Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another live vintage sale with your boy Tim from over the years. And what did I do with the little black light? Oh, it's right there. All right, cool. So tonight we have over 40 items, amazing items, vintage items. We got jewelry. We got glass, we got china, we got figurines, we got barware, uranium glass, Vaseline glass, fire king, blue glass, wedgewood, enamel. We got enamelware, crazy enamelware. It's going to be it's going to be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Cyber Monday edition of over the years support your small business. It's going to be a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you guys are ready because I am ready. And I'm going to say some hellos to a few folks here momentarily, and then we'll go over the rules and regulations, and then we'll get the party started. I forgot there was something else I was gonna tell everybody. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I cut my hair, everybody. No more man bun. No more man bun. It's gone. Just a cool little haircut now. So thought I'd show everybody my new hairdo. And yeah, so everything in our sales are approximately more than more more times than others, I'd say they fall in around the 30 to 50 percent discounted price off of what we normally um, sell our items for. So we're giving you guys the crazy discounts because we love you guys and you guys are huge supporters of what I do here and I couldn't pay my bills without you guys, so I love y'all. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up while you guys are here for me because it helps get the video out. Um, and that helps a lot too. So I appreciate that, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to try and get as much of the items shipped out. Um, I mean, invoices sent out tomorrow. But I got a couple of appointments this week. So it might be like one to one to three days before the items actually hit the road. But Obviously, once I get the uh, your emails, I'll be sending out my emails to you guys as, as I pack the items for you. All right. So let me say some hellos to the lovely people. First in the building is my man, Steve, Back Alley Garage. What's going on, brother? Hope all is well. And we got Trisha from San Diego. How are you doing today? Judy, hope all is well, Judy. Kevin is in the building, my man Kevin. Always showing love, Kevin. Carrie, KC Addicts, how you doing? She says hi, Tim and my Dukes. <laughs> Stephanie Barber is back. Thank you, Stephanie, for joining us. Appreciate that. Andrea, hope all is well. And Kathy Morrison, thank you, Kathy, for joining us as always. And the lovely Michelle, who's always here to support and show love. I can't thank you enough. My man, Joe Deals. What's going on, Joe? Hope all is well, brother. If you guys, you know, get hip to Joe Deals. He's a good guy. Pete, what's going on, Pete? Hope you're doing well, brother. Good to see you as always. Thank you. I'm glad that you uh, like the hairdo. And who else we got in the building today? Jackie. What's going on, Jackie? Thank you for joining us. Stacy Brinkley is back. How are you, Stacy? Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, Victoria, thank you for joining us. Are the Agon What? Our vagabond. Our, vi our vagabond? Mm -hmm. There we go. My deuce, you know, came through in the clutch to help me with that. I almost messed it up. <laughs> Tea Cakes, checking in from over across the pond. Thank you for joining us. Joanne from Bougie and the Beast is here, and Stacy says she is doing good. All right, so let's go over. And if you are watching us on Facebook by any chance and you want to get in on the action, 
You can always head over to YouTube and find us on YouTube. Um, and you can buy items if you'd like. So the way that this goes down is as so. Uh, so we will show you an item. And then after we show you that item, we will show you a card. The card will contain a price. Then I will release the post-it and show you this number. The first person to type this number in the chat will receive this item. Once you win, either at any point in time during the show or at once the sale is over, you'll want to email us at this address going across the bottom of the screen, your YouTube name, your PayPal email, and your shipping address. And then we will pack your item and send you an invoice. Once that invoice is paid, we will ship your item. And then we send you a tracking number also. And for those of you that are wondering if this is your first time here, we are shipping from the state of Maryland. So <clears throat> hopefully you guys are ready to rock and roll. There's 34 people in here right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and get started. If anybody has any questions at any point in time, just put them in the chat and I'll answer them. Okay, how can I see what people are chatting with this? Well, you're not on the right sale. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go, my dukes. All right. Thank you. No problem. And Dana is here. Hello, Grace2010. How are you? All right. So I guess we're going to go ahead and get this party started. I just don't know where we're going to start, though. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll start with uh, start with this little guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to rock and roll. What is this for? Oh, this is for the green enamel pot. Okay. All right, let's do it. So the first item we have up today is going to be this adorable little egg trinket dish, and it has I think that's a sunflower. How are you, Angela? Yeah, it's a sunflower, right? I think it's a sunflower. And it is a cute little trinket dish. And it says Limoges France on the bottom. If I can get it to focus. Come on. There you go, Limoges France. And this little egg shaped trinket dish is about two and a quarter inches wide and about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half tall. Uh, it does have the cute little sunflower on there. Thank you for noticing my haircut. I appreciate that. Well, this little trinket egg shaped dish from Limoges France can be yours for a price of only $5 if you give me number 17. Number 17 for $5 gets you the Limoges egg-shaped trinket dish with the sunflower on there. Cute little item. Really nice piece, guys. All right. Okay. All right. Next up is this absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if the turn this light on. I can really see the purple. This is a really nice amethyst colored decanter. 
And it's got like the sunflower star in the middle there. Looks like a poinsettia. Almost, yeah. Um, and I will pull the top out just in case. It does have the cork intact there. And it's like glass on the bottom. And then it has the cork and plastic around it right there. I don't know. I, it doesn't have, typically with these decanters, if it comes with the liquor, it would have it on the bottom right here. But there is nothing on there. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous uh, opalescent white one, right? I, I had one of the opalescent white ones, and I sold that also. So this uh, decanter with the cork in measures to be about 11 inches tall. Uh, it is just, it's a really nice one. And I really like it too because it has the spout. So this is something that can be functional or for decor purposes. It's a really just beautiful purple color. It's, it's, it's almost like that smoke purple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give it to you for a low, low price. Of only eleven dollars, if you give me number thirteen. Number thirteen gets you the Amethyst glass decanter. Uh, Don, we are located in Maryland, so not too far. Victoria, Victoria congratulations! You are the winner, winner, winner decanter dinner congratulations victoria and we're on the board folks we're live first sale of the sale thank you victoria for breaking the ice all right let's go to this one so next up we have this really adorable planter um i believe it's made by Nesco, but I couldn't be 100% sure. But there you go. I think those are Cocker Spaniels. Uh, possibly, yeah. So you get three Cocker Spaniels, and it is a planter. It does have the number on the bottom, C7201. Um, in really good condition. I didn't notice any paint loss, chips, cracks. So it's in really good shape. And there's the inside for you guys. And the back. Really cute dogs. Cacker Spaniels. And this measures to be about four and three-fourths by three and three-fourths. And at its tallest point is four inches tall. And you can have the Cocker Spaniel three dog planter for only $7 if you give me number 34. Number 34 gets you the Cocker Spaniel planter for only $7. Say hello to the doggies. All right. So next up is going to be our first piece of uranium glass for the evening. Uh, this is made by Federal Glass. Uh, it is the what they refer to commonly as the rope pattern because of the rope that goes around the edge of the bowl. This is uh, technically considered to be a berry bowl, but obviously you can use this for many different things. The bowl itself measures to be almost six inches wide and one and three fourths inches tall. And Kevin is the first in the chat to say it. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the glow. Show your glow. Really nice piece as we 
Love our uranium glass here at Over the Years, and it can be yours for a low price of $7 if you give me number 22, number 22, and it is marked federal on the bottom of the bowl, $7, number 22. Andrea. Andrea, you are the winner. Congratulations, winner, winner, Berry Bowl Dinner. All right. All right. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be these really awesome milk glass Irish coffee mugs. And they say Irish coffee on the front and on the back. And they do have the gold trim on top and in very good condition, actually. Um, and no letters missing on the print of the mugs i believe these are actually made by federal glass also um they're really cute really cool perfect milk glass and they got that nice sort of you know thin milk glass to it uh the irish coffee mugs measure to be about five and a half inches tall and you can have the pair of milk glass Irish coffee mugs for a low price of only seven dollars. If you give me number 26, number 26 gets you the Irish coffee mugs, milk glass Irish coffee mugs. Really awesome! Great price, too. Seven dollars for the pair. Number 26 for the Irish coffee mugs. Maybe you should do that figure one. Uh, I'll put this over here. Get these the overtime pieces over there. All right, let's do this. All right, so we do have a bunch of jewelry tonight. Uh, the first thing we have up are these ceramic jewelry pins. Uh, these are from 70s, I believe. 70s. Yeah. So and you're going to get a lot of these early, um, 70s. early 70s. So the first one up is going to be a parrot. And you can see it on the back. The next one up is going to be this cute little green bear carrying a bag. And there's the back. And then the next one up is this cute little duck. Mallard, is mallard I guess. Is it a mallard? Well, I guess mallards have green heads. It's just a duck duck. Chat freeze, somebody says. <clears throat> so you can get all three of these pins. So you get the parrot, you get the duck, and you get the bear. All for the low price of only... Nine dollars if you give me number 35. Number 35 gets you all three of the animal ceramic 1970 pins. Deal of a deal time, guys. So I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Fire King mugs. Uh, these are referred to commonly as the fruit pattern. Um, I want to say that there's either five or six of these fruit mugs. Uh, I think it's orange, apple, lemon, 
lime. I can't remember what the other one is. I've sold two of the lemon ones for $25 each. Um, these mugs typically fetch anywhere between $20 and $35. Um, they are marked Fire King on the bottom. I just recently picked up two of these. Uh, I was going to list both of them, but I figured I would give everybody um, in the live sale an opportunity to get a bargain on these before they got listed. So you can have the orange fruits milk glass fire king mug for a, a really low price of only 13 dollars if you give me number 33 number 33 gets the fire king orange fruits milk glass mug number 33 Steve from Back Alley Garage. Congratulations, so buddy. You are the winner, winner, winner. Orange dinner. Congratulations, boss. All right. Next up, we are going to do a very, it's not, I wouldn't call it a swung vase, but it's almost along the same lines. This is an absolutely gorgeous amber caramel sort of color. Um, and then you can see the design up close and even on the stemware right there. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous vase here. And this is actually marked on the bottom. Um, it's going to be impossible to see, but it does say Westmoreland glass down there on the bottom. So this is an absolutely gorgeous Mid-century modern. It's got the nice ruffle on the top too. Absolutely gorgeous mid-century modern. Or something? I forget the actual exact name of it. Um, dime quilted diamond maybe. Um, and this vase measures to be eleven and a half inches tall. For those of you wondering, hope that is good enough size for you victoria but it's a really nice vase gorgeous and in great condition just look at the detail on that down there fabulous i just love this color and the light it's all it's very caramelly it looks orange but it's caramel yeah definitely a caramel amber and this westmoreland caramel amber vase can be yours for a price of only eleven dollars if you give me Number six, number six gets you the Westmoreland Caramel Amber Vase. Matches my beard. Thank you, Harry. Oh, Victoria, Victoria, congratulations. You are the winner, winner, winner. Caramel dinner. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. Next up on the docket is going to be this uh, is what they call a grill plate or a sandwich plate to some when it has the divided uh, parts right there. And this is made by Hawking or Anchor Hawking. Uh, the name of the pattern is called uh, Cameo, also known as Ballerina. If I can get in close enough, you can see there's a ballerina in there dancing. Um, so the, that's what separates it from regular cameo and makes it the cameo ballerina. Uh, this uh, uranium glass plate measures to be approximately, uh, it's about a pinch under, it's, what is that, 10 and 3 eighths inches. And uh, yeah, it's time to show your glow. And there it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my phone is reflecting. There you go. It glows. Very nice glow to this bad boy. As you can see. And this Hawking Cameo Grill Plate can be yours for a low price of only $9 if you give me 
Number 14. Number 14 gets you the Hawking Cameo Grill Plate. 10 and 3 eighths inches. Kevin, Kevin, congratulations. You are the winner, 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 cameo dinner. Congratulations, buddy. <clears throat> All right. How about the pictures? Oh, I'll do that oh. next. All right. Next up, we have a proper antique. So this uh, piece is a proper antique. For those of you that don't know, proper antique is over 100 years old. So this piece of glass is over 100 years old. Um, it's an absolutely stunning piece of opalescent glass. It is opalescent blue. And just look at how gorgeous that is. Absolutely stunning. You have the dots down here. And then you have the shells across here, and you have the opalescent blue up top. Absolutely gorgeous piece of glass here, ladies and gentlemen. This is made by Jefferson Glass, and it is, um, I want to say it was made around the time of 1904, and it's a really nice piece. I think I have this piece listed for $49.99 right now. Um, the name of the pattern is Shell and Dots by Jefferson Glass. And I'm going to give it to you guys for a crazy low price special, Cyber Monday special, $23. If you give me number nine, number nine for $23 gets you the antique Jefferson Glass Shell and Dots opalescent blue bowl. An absolute steal of a deal. Congratulations, Lori, Blue Flamingo. You are in the building. Winner, winner, Shell and Dot dinner. Congratulations. That's an absolutely beautiful piece. All right. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Okay. So I told you guys in the beginning that we have some really nice enamel wear today. Um, enamel wear can be very collectible, it's awesome for decor. Uh, it's very mid-century modern. Obviously, it ranges in price um, depending upon the maker. Uh, a, a lot of the more expensive and hard to find enamel wear comes out of like um, the Netherlands. Uh, Catherine Hamill also obviously like her stuff is crazy expensive. Um, but Japan actually made a lot of really nice enamel wear too. Um, and this is one of my favorite pieces. This is a orange and black. Um, I just love the contrast of the colors. So you have, I mean, it, obviously it's like the over the years colors. I just realized that. So you have the black handle, the orange body, and then the white inside. It's just those colors all together. They really pop. Um, and this one is marked on the bottom, Japan. And, you know, there is some slight wear, obviously, as it is enamel wear and, over time, it just, you know, is going to have some wear. So you got a little bit of rust around the edge there. Um, but the body is actually in really good shape. Uh, and then you got a little bit of rust and wear right there on the handle. Um, but besides great that, display. yeah, it's a great display piece for sure. Super mid-century modern. Just a gorgeous color. Really nice. Um, this picture Oh man, this picture measures to be approximately eight inches tall and handle to spout is about seven and three fourths inches. Um, I have seen this specific pot sell for anywhere of upwards of 30 to 35 dollars in the high end range, but this mid century modern orange, black, and white. Enameled pot pitcher. I don't know why I keep saying pot pitcher. This enamel pitcher can be yours for a price of only $13 if you give me number 25. Number 25 gets you the Japan orange, black and white enamel pitcher. Absolutely amazing piece right here. Enamel wear is super hot right now. 
Melanie, congratulations, Melanie. Serendipity by Melanie. Winner, winner, enamel dinner. You are the winner. All right. So where should we go next? Okay. So we have this really interesting um, glass slipper or shoe. Um, most people will recognize this as being made by Fenton Glass. Uh, this is the daisy and button pattern, and it has the cat head. The interesting part about this one is the shape of this is really, it's a little, it's, it's almost crooked. Um, so I don't know. I want that to be the right foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't know if this was a factory second or if it's just like, you know, one of those interesting models. But you can kind of see where the glass, like, changes direction down here. It goes right, right here and then goes this this way. Uh, it's a really cool piece. Uh, as far as chips and dings go, it's got a little, I thought I felt a flea bite. Oh, it's got a little flea bite on the inside of the shoe right here. Um, but it is a gorgeous sort of, um, it's it's not necessarily a cobalt blue. It's like a royal blue, right? No, it's not royal. It looks like sky blue. Sky blue? Ice blue. Ice blue. It's really, it's really interesting. Let me see if what it looks like when I turn the light on. There you go. You can kind of get a better vibe of it right there. Pretty, yeah. yeah, very pretty. So, this blue daisy and button cat head crooked shoe slipper can be yours for a low price of only seven dollars if you give me number 16. Number 16 gets you the daisy and button cat blue shoe. Give me number 16. Oh, Nate's got 228 subscriptions. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I popped in and watched a little bit of Angela um, last night. Her and uh, Katie it was awesome. So make sure you guys go subscribe to Soul Nate and subscribe to Angela Marksberry. Great people. Shout out to those guys. And while you're at it, make sure you're subscribed to Vintage and Vinyl as well. All right. Next up, this is probably one of my favorite pieces. I might say that three or four times tonight, but this is probably one of my favorite pieces. This is going to be a steal of a deal tonight. Um, I think I have this item listed for $59.99 right now. It's so pretty. So this is a peach opal. As you can see, the opalescent. Opalescent carnival glass is so rad. It's just you don't see a lot of it. Um, most of the opal opalescent, they, they don't call them opalescent in, in carnival glass. They refer to it as opal. So this is peach opal is the name of this color. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah. And the name of this pattern is called single flower and you can see the flower right there on the edge. There you go. Really absolutely stunning piece of glass right here. And this is, like I said, so the maker of this is Dugan. Dugan glass, peach opal, and the name of the pattern is single single flower. Um, this is a high-end piece. It is in fabulous condition. There's a little scratch in the bottom right there. I don't know if you can see it. But absolutely stunning piece. And I'm going to give it to you at 50% off. $27. Give me number 10. Number 10, $27. You get this peach opal, Dugan glass, single flower, carnival glass bowl. It does measure to be a pinch under seven inches. All right. Sorry, I forgot to measure it, guys. Six and three fourths inches wide and two and a half inches tall. Victoria, you're the winner. 
Winner, winner. Single flower dinner. Single flower dinner. Look, my Dukes is finally coming around oh, on the winner, winner stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a gorgeous piece, Victoria. It's Ooh, absolutely fabulous. Makes you want to eat it. Eat it. I don't know about sherbet. eating it. it looks like sherbet. Okay. Um, why don't you bring me the uh two two of those glasses? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so I'm only I have this is going to be a set of six glasses. I'm gonna show you um I'm gonna show you two of them right now off the top. So these are fabulous glasses. Um I've actually Sold a set of these glasses for $60, I believe. Um, this is going to be a set of six. So remember, there's six of these. These are made by Culver Glass. If you guys know Mid-Century Modern, Culver is one of the hottest names in Mid-Century Modern barware. Um, these are Thai Goddess. So they're gold and this really deep Chinese red. Chinese red. Um, gold Thai Goddess and Chinese red mid-century modern culver glass barware absolutely fabulous i'm gonna tell them how tall it is <laughs> um each glass is a five and a half inches tall so you get six of these six of these glasses culver glass thai goddess and chinese red super mid-century modern awesome rad barware I mean, I don't even know. I can't even begin to tell you how rad these glasses are. I couldn't believe I found them two times. Um, but yeah, I, I sold my. I had a set of of old fashioned ones, and I had a set of the tumblers. Um, yes, sorry, it's time to drink. I said rad, <laughs> but I'm. This is gonna. This is what we do here at over the years. We give you guys great deals. Nineteen dollars for six six of these glasses for nineteen dollars. If you give me number 41, number 41 gets you six Culver glasses, mid-century modern, Thai goddess, gold and red. Steve, Steve back alley garage, my man, winner, winner, Thai goddess dinner. Congratulations, brother. That is an awesome buy, my oh, friend. Yeah, yeah, it's a crazy set. All right, where are we going to go next? Let's go into this. All right, next up. So let me give you guys, for those of you that are here for the uranium glass, I'm going to give you guys a count on how many pieces of uranium glass we have left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces of uranium glass are left tonight, just so everybody knows. All right, next up. Try not to get hypnotized, and I'm talking about the swirl, not to my eyes, but this is a really rad. Let me turn this light off really quick. Super rad. Look at the swirl on this bad boy. Nice cake plate. This is a footed cake plate, and it has the awesome swirl in here. Some people might uh, attribute this to... Um, might attribute this to uh, Anchor Hawking, uh, Anchor Hawking Swirl. Um, so we have this really awesome piece. Um, and it measures to be <laughs> 10 inches wide. And say it in the chat. Let me hear you say, show your glow. No, you can't go until somebody says show your glow. <laughs> My dude's getting antsy over there with the light switch. Oh, there goes Victoria. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Show your glow. Super rad piece here. Ooh, I love that cake plate. Yeah, it's really nice. Ooh, and a coconut cake on that. Coconut cake? I don't really like coconut cake. All right. My man Shad Juice is in the building. What's going on, brother? So, steal of a deal, ladies and gentlemen. You can get this footed 10-inch swirl uranium glass cake plate stand footed. $9. Give me number 15. 
Number 15, nine dollars gets you the uranium glass swirl cake plate oh, stand. Kevin. Kevin, you are the winner. Winner, winner, cake dinner. Congratulations, buddy. You're taking home the uranium glass cake stand. All right, let's get into some absolutely amazing jewelry, ladies and gentlemen. It is almost that time. You might want to buy somebody a piece of jewelry. Uh, where's the loop? Of, okay, this one is marked, right? Yeah, it's marked. Oh, yeah, I see it. I just want to remember if it's marked Sterling or uh, 925. This one is marked Sterling. It is marked Sterling on the inside of the ring band. So the stone you see in here is a garnet. It's got a pear shape. Yep. Pear-shaped pear garnet. And this is a sterling silver ring with the pear-shaped garnet. This is vintage. And it is a size 6. So this is a size 6 sterling silver marked garnet ring size six and you can see on it does have these really nice sort of um open on what is it on this side on one side it is open on the band focus there you go you can see it's got a little opening right here it's a really nice ring um, this is a crazy price, crazy price for everybody. $19 for the sterling silver garnet stone size six ring. Give me number 30 and you can have the sterling silver garnet stone ring. Absolutely gorgeous ring at a phenomenal price. Sterling silver and a garnet stone size six ring absolutely beautiful okay we're running low um give me the nip on piece okay this is stunning right here guys <clears throat> okay, so this is a Nippon piece. Uh, it does have some slight crazing to it, but it is absolutely fabulous. The design on this and the intricacy is phenomenal. Turn this light off really quick. Look at this, guys. Look at that. So this is like uh, raised enamel, the beaded parts right here. Um, and then this part right here, some of the, the gold is enameled. But absolutely stunning ginger jar here, Nippon. Gorgeous. Look at the detail on this, guys. Super nice piece. And then you can see the lid right there. And top and the marking on the bottom hand painted Nippon. I just think that this bowl, this j jar is just absolutely stunning. Maybe it's just not doing it justice. Look at that, guys. Look at the detail on this jar. So with the lid on, it measures to be six inches tall with the lid on. Uh, the jar itself is approximately three and three-fourths inches wide, and the jar itself is four and a half inches tall. Um <laughs> You can put your gummy tamaka in it. <laughs> uh, who do you think said it? Carrie. Carrie. Casey Addicts. Carrie said it. <laughs> so, yes, this Nippon jar, absolutely gorgeous. 
can be yours for a price of only $13 if you give me number three. Number three for $13, you can have this absolutely stunning Nippon jar. Judy. Judy Scallett. Congratulations, Judy. You are the winner, winner, winner. Yeah. Nippon dinner. I love the smell of Nippon in the morning. All right. Yeah. Bring me the November one. All right. So today being the last day of November, and which means I have to run home after this and pay rent. Hopefully you guys can help me do that. This is a November angel. Would you look at how cute that is? And it has like the the spaghetti sort of style palms on the bottom of the dress. Is that Syracuse? It's got a football. And it says November Angel. Um, there was a sticker on here. I'm assuming it was probably left in. Um, it does have a number on there. I'm going to turn this light off. $12.94, I believe. Uh, a lot of times you see these and the wings are just either completely off or missing a piece halo. or the halo. So this is absolutely in fabulous shape. Um, I don't know. She's holding like a football. What is that? Blue and orange. Maybe Black? Syracuse. Syracuse. Maybe. It's super interesting for sure. Uh, November Angel. Look at that face. Cute little face right there. <laughs> and it measures to be four and three fourths inches tall, and it can be yours for a low price of only seven dollars if you give me number one. Number one gets you the November Angel for only seven dollars. Number one. Side Street Market, congratulations. Winner, winner, November dinner. All right. I think it's time we bring out the big boy. So this, I think I, I am confident in saying this is probably my favorite piece. Um, I'm looking around to see. Yeah, well, second favorite piece. <clears throat> second favorite piece. Um, all right, so this bad boy, it's a turkey. Oh, it's not a football, it's a turkey. Turkey, it might be a turkey. <laughs> well, that's the funniest looking turkey I've ever seen. All right, next up, we have this beauty. You have not seen anything like this before. This is not Amberina, really. This is what most people, I believe, refer to as persimmon. But it does have the transitional color change there. It's got the ribbed here on the bottom. The absolutely mm -hmm. awesome shaped top. It is blown glass. It does have the ponte on the bottom. An applied handle with a little bit of, of wear, like... um to the where the glass was applied. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to show it to you. Um, just a fabulous piece. Absolutely gorgeous, stunning piece. Um, I think I have this listed for $50 right now. Uh, it does measure to be approximately seven and a quarter inches tall. And it's actually manganese glass also. So this, and I know and, uh, Andrea will appreciate this because I, I forgot last time to show the glow on these pieces. But these pieces do have their own special glow. Lights. Okay. You see how this one glows? You see that? It's like an orange color. So typically... 
under this light, it would be purple if it but it has the manganese so it glows orange the entire piece too a lot of times these pieces only glow um in certain nice. certain areas this whole piece will glow orange if you put it underneath the black light look at that oh man oh. that is super rad right there guys super super rad so <sighs> You can have this absolutely stunning, gorgeous persimmon pitcher, manganese glass, hand blown. I mean, this is a one of a kind here, guys. A crazy low price $23, number 12. Gorgeous piece, people. Fabulous price, people. It's a stunner. Steve. Steve from Back Alley Garage with the quick trigger tonight. Congratulations. Winner, winner, persimmon dinner. You are the winner, buddy. All right. Let's do this guy. All right. Next up, we have, I thought this was adorable. Absolutely adorable. Um, I want to say that this is not Porky the Pig, but Corky. Yeah, I sold a I have a bank. I've sold one and I have a second one. Um it is a it is a, a piggy bank and it has the pig on it. And I believe his name is Corky the Pig. And I think that this is who this character is. Um, this is super mid-century modern. Um, I believe that this is quite possibly made by shawnee pottery i've seen some people attribute it to shawnee although there is no marking on the bottom uh and you can see how he is pretty cute cute that is and it is a planter so it is a i believe this is a what do they call these water troughs Trough. troughs Trough. so does corky the pig and he's got his overalls on you can see in the back Looks like junior samples from Hee Haw. And it is an absolutely adorable, super rad mid-century model. I've seen this planter sell for like $35 before. It's kind of crazy. But you can have this. Did you measure it? I did not measure it. Good job. So the planter area itself... The opening is about three and a quarter inches by two and a half inches. The it is approximately seven and a quarter inches wide from here to here. Uh, and its tallest point, it is six and a half inches tall. Oh. Kevin says, the Shawnee, the eyes are always closed. That's an interesting um, – uh, some people do say that. That's why I said some people have attributed this to Shawnee. I personally have not attributed it to anybody. I'm going to leave that up for the winner's interpretation. But it can be yours for a low price of only $13 with the number 27. Number 27 gets you the Corky the Pig. Planter. It is super mid century modern and an awesome, awesome piece at a low, low price of only $13. All right. Rough night. Planters. Rough planters. All right, where are we going to go next? No, not yet. Let's do the Limoges. Okay, so this is a really interesting uh, duo piece here. So I've actually had this for a little while, and it just sold, um, and it sold for $40 uh, on eBay. So this is a Limoges set, um, and you can see – it has the marking on the bottom. It's 
missing the goal. Focus. There it goes. So you see the Limoges Made in France logo on the bottom. And it has these absolutely super art deco images on here of two people dancing. Um, and the gold flower on one side and the people dancing a different dance on the other side. Um, this was a perfume atomizer. Um, it is missing its bulb. Um, but this, and it comes with the trinket dish also. So you get the trinket dish with the two dancers there. Um, and it has the gold flowers on all the edges. Uh, and it is marked on the bottom. Limoges France. And the reason what happened was is the person bought it and I was going to ship it. And I realized that there was some damage on the rim of the trinket box. Yeah. So I messaged the person and I, you know, instead of, because I didn't notice it when I listed it. So I messaged the person and I let them know, you know, Hey, there's some damage on there. I can, you know, still send you the item and give you a discounted price. Or if you want to just, I can give you a full refund. Um, they said it was a gift for somebody and they would rather it be in perfect condition. So I issued them a full refund. And instead of me trying to go back and get more money again, I decided I would give you guys an opportunity at a very original and awesome duo piece of Limoges. It is an atomizer and trinket box made in France. And I'm going to give it to you guys for a low price of only $15 if you give me number 32. Number 32 gets you the Limoges Art Deco Design Trinket Box and Perfume Atomizer Made in France. Serendipity by Melanie. Congratulations, Melanie. You are the winner. Winner, winner. Limoges France Dinner. Congratulations. We have 77 people in the chat right now. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And if anybody has any questions and or requests, don't hesitate to leave it in the chat. Let's go to the next item. Let's do these. So you guys know us. We love our haul china. Um, this is one of the more popular patterns. Are either, um, you know, sometimes people, there's a difference between the two, but Rose Parade and Morning Glory. This is the Rose Parade. And we love Hall China because of the way that they are able to mesh the mid century modern and Art Deco vibe together in a lot of their pieces. And that's why we really like it. Um, this is in the Cadet Blue. The name of the pattern is Rose Parade. And you can see down there in the bottom. Hall China made in the USA Rose Parade. Um, this is a sugar and a creamer. And just look at the shape of that creamer. Absolutely phenomenal. So you have this sugar and the creamer and this really awesome shape. And you have the rose handles right there. And it's in this really gorgeous blue, which um, is typically referred to as cadet blue um, in the Hall China world. So you can have... The Sugar and the Creamer Rose Parade by Hall China Art Deco Mid Century Modern. It's got a little bit of everything, and it can be yours for a low price of $13 if you give me number 19. Number 19 for $13 gets you the Rose Parade Hall China Sugar and Creamer. Absolutely great price, stunning product. We love it. Hall China Sugar and Creamer. Number 19 for $13. Oh, man. Well, it's getting tough. All right. This <sighs> A piece of jewelry. All right, some more jewelry for the lovely people. This is a 
sterling silver and it is marked uh, this one is marked 925 I can never remember. Yeah, it is marked 925 sterling silver. And this is an absolutely gorgeous lapis. Let me turn the light on so you can see it. Look at the lapis on there. Nice sterling silver band. Um, this is a size 7. Size 7, 925 sterling silver with lapis stone. In the setting, it's a smooth, cut. smooth cut, Ma Duke says. Cabochon. Really nice people. Low, low price of only fifteen dollars. If you give me number thirty-one, number thirty-one gets you the nine two five sterling silver lapis ring, size seven. 925 sterling silver lapis ring size 7 only $15 if you give me number 31 number 31 Serendipity. Serendipity by Melanie. Melanie, you are on a roll. Winner, winner. Lapis, lapis, lapis dinner. dinner. Congratulations. All right. Next up, you guys might recognize this little guy. I had one of these already, and I found another one. This is, this is what happens when you dig through boxes that you need to list stuff. You find this cool stuff. Look at this cute little cobalt blue squirrel. Cute little cobalt blue squirrel. Say hello, squirrely. Look at that. Cute little cobalt blue squirrel. How tall is he? I'm going to tell him in a second. Huh? Mm -hmm. And this little guy measures to be... Two inches tall, you can have the cute little cobalt blue squirrel for only seven dollars if you give me number 18. It doesn't glow. No, it doesn't glow. Jackie yeah, no, it doesn't glow. <laughs> no, Jackie, congratulations! You are the winner, 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 cobalt blue dinner. Congratulations. All right. You want to pass me the green enamel teapot? Yep. I already forgot who makes it. Copco. Copco. It's a little rugged, but. All right. Next up. Oh, man. This thing's got some weight to it. This is a heavy duty enamel teapot or kettle. Um, this is about as mid-century as mid-century modern gets. Uh, you have the wood handle, and you have the sunken lid with the wood handle on the top. Um, obviously, this thing has been used. Uh, this is a fabulous decor piece. Uh, it is in absolutely great condition, um, just the used condition. You can see it does have the marks on the bottom and a little bit of wear on the spout. Um, this... This uh, pot kettle enamel has been attributed to Copco. Um, I have seen Copco uh, tea kettles go. This particular one sell for upwards of fifty-five dollars. Um, but I wanted—I just picked this up at a estate sale, and I wanted to give you guys an opportunity first to snag it before I post it online. And you can get this Copco Super Mid-Century Modern Enamel Green with the wood handle and the wood top kettle by Copco Enamel. Only $21. If you give me number 24. Number 24 gets you the green enamel tea kettle by Copco. $21, number 24. It is an absolutely awesome green color. Fabulous piece and a steal of a deal at $21. Incredible. All right, 
Next up, would you actually use it? I don't know. No, I, I, I wouldn't use it, no. I would use it more as a decor piece. Hello there. All right, next up, we have the Cambridge Green Glass Sugar and Creamer. It is marked Cambridge on the bottom. Um, this has a number name to it. I can't remember exactly the number off the top of my head, but it is commonly referred to as Circle Green um, by Cambridge Glass. And if you want to see it glow, tell me to show the glow on the Sugar and Creamer set by Cambridge. Let's go. Uh, and you can see that it glows, it glows, turn off this light. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. All right. You can have the Cambridge glass, uranium glass, sugar and creamer for a absolutely stunningly low price of only $13 if you give me number eight. Andrea, congratulations. You are the winner, winner, winner. Cambridge dinner. All right. Oh. So now that November is gone, December is here. And with December comes poinsettias and this cute little gal. And she is holding a poinsettia and she's got the December swag going on on the dress. And she's waving to you. Hello. It's December, she's saying. <laughs> Well, I do think I'm crazy right now. She's got a full head of hair and a cute little pink dress that says December. And she's got a poinsettia. Did I mention that? Cute little figurine here. There's the bottom. And it can be yours. Can you measure her? I will measure her. It is approximately four inches tall. And it can be yours for a price of only $7 if you give me number two. Number two gets you December girl with the poinsettia. This guy. All right. Next up, we have this cute little clear glass salt cellar. It is a duck on the nest, not a hen. As you can see, there is the duck. The duck. The duck. Oh, the duck. Sue that number two. Oh, Maggie Sue for number two. Congratulations, Maggie Sue. You are the winner of the December girl holding the point setup. Congratulations. Duck on nest, salt cellar, clear glass. Cute little thing. It can be yours for a low price of only $5 if you give me number 20. Number 20 gets you the clear glass duck on a nest. Number 20 for $5. Jackie, congratulations, Jackie. You are the winner. Winner, winner. Ducky Duck Dinner. All right. Next up, we have another piece of jewelry. This is a size six. And this is a sterling silver piece. 
and it has flowers and leaves. It's a band. Band. It's a band. How wide is that? Can I get it to focus? Let me put it on my finger. You want to put it on your finger? Yeah. My dude says she's going to put it on her finger. It is. Oh, that's not silver polish. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't much better, is it? Yeah. It's flowers. No, it's not focusing. There it goes. Okay. There you go. Anyway, it's a, a measure the width of the band. The width of the band is yeah, it's about a three fourths of an inch. And like I said, it does have flowers and leaves, and it goes all the way around. Sterling silver. How do they mark it? Nine twenty five or sterling silver? It is. It's Mark Sterling. Oh, 925. And it is a size six, and it can be yours for $17 with the number 29. Sterling silver band ring, 925, number 29, $17. And I'm tracking the whip on those measures. All right, pass me the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we have this is a custard glass mixing bowl. Uh, the bowl itself measures to be six and a half inches wide and almost four and a quarter inches tall. Look at this really nice custard glass mixing bowl with a nice thick rim, rolled edge almost. Uh, really good condition. Uh, there, the only marking on the bottom is um, UEM-25. And it does glow, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as my dukes can hit the lights. You can see it does glow. Really rad piece here. Super rad. And this custard glass, uranium glass mixing bowl can be yours for a low price of $11 with the number 28. Number 28 gets you the custard glass, uranium glass mixing bowl. All right, next up we have this awesome mid-century modern art pottery. Um, probably, maybe Hull, although it does not have the Hull signature. It does say USA, six and a half inch, 92. Um, and it is the single flower on one side and the double flower on the other side. It is this gorgeous, like faint sort of yellow. Um, it does have some crazing on it and a little bit of wear on the edge of the base here as you can see in those two spots but it is a gorgeous piece uh, i believe it measures to be six and three fourths inches tall and it can be yours for a low price of only 13 dollars with the number 38 number 38 13 gets you the alt 
pottery vase. Super mid-century modern. All right. Next up, we have some Wedgwood Jasperware. This is Wedgwood Jasperware. This is a nice fluted trinket dish, as you can see. It is marked on the bottom. Uh, the base itself measures to be two and a half inches wide. And it is an inch and a quarter tall, absolutely lovely piece of green jasperware by Wedgwood. This is a fluted round trinket box, and it's going to be a low price, ladies and gentlemen. The low price of $11. Give me number 40, and you can have the Wedgwood trinket dish. Number 40, $11, gets you the Wedgwood Trinket Dish. How about, do I use, uh, you want to do this water? Yeah, yeah, give me that one. Oh, Sandy Otto, congratulations. You are the winner. Winner, winner, Jasper Ware dinner. All right. Congratulations, Trisha. Next up is actually a really interesting piece. Um, so I want to see who's the first person who could tell me who this character is. Who is this character? In the chat, tell me who it is. Can anybody guess who this is? Jackie is right. It is Goldilocks. So this piece was made in 1956. As you can see, it says Goldilocks, Napco, 1956. Um... This is a really interesting piece. I've seen this exact piece sell for almost $55. Um, there is a little smut on the front here. Let me turn the light on. Right here. I don't know. It, it's a little rough. I don't know if somebody got it too close to the fire or whatnot. Um, but that's the only down part of it. I mean, there's some obvious crazy. But, I mean, even look at the book. The book is, like, still in really good condition, too. Uh, and then this is the back. I was five years old. You were five years old. Yeah, this is super old. Goldilocks, Napco. How tall? She is five inches tall, and it can be yours for a low price of only $13. If you give me number four, number four, $13 gets you the 1956 Napco Goldilocks figurine. This is an awesome piece. Melanie is on a roll. Congratulations, Melanie. You are the winner. Winner, winner. What do they eat? Porridge dinner? <laughs> Congratulations. All right. And make sure you guys stay tuned all the way to the end because the end is going to be interesting. That's, uh, that is what I'm going to do. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm just separating all this. Everything else is over there. Oh, there's one more pot. You made a pot. All right. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Patrick? Hope all is well, brother. Okay, next up, we have another Japanese enamel piece. This is a black and yellow 
Japanese enamel kettle. Um, there is wear on it, as wow. you would imagine, with enamel. But that's what adds character to these pieces. Uh, you can see it's a little bit of wear down around the bottom. But a really awesome piece. And it is marked Japan on the bottom. Just a super rad mid-century modern color, black and yellow enamel tea kettle. And like I said, these things are really, really popular right now. Really, really popular. And it can be yours That's for amazing. a... Oh. My dukes. Cracking the whip. To, uh, with a lid on, it is six inches tall and at its widest point is about five and a half inches to six inches the japan japanese enamel black and yellow tea kettle can be yours for a low price of 13 dollars if you give me number 23 number 23 Picking for a living. Congratulations. You are the winner, 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 tea kettle dinner, enamel. All right. So, next up, we have some more uranium glass. Oh, over the years t shirts. This is actually super old. Um, I got these made when I first uh, started. Um, and I was at the flea market. I don't know if you can see the back. Can you see the back? No, you probably can't. But yeah, it's got like all my social media and stores on the back. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm getting, um, I'm going to get some new stuff soon, but yeah, soon enough, Steve, don't worry. I got you, man. I got you on the free tip too. All right. Next up is Fenton glass, uranium custard glass bell and this is mother's day 1984 it decides to focus there you go mother's day 1984 panda and on the back you got a little boom bamboo hand painted obviously this is fenton and what's really unique about this is that you got both fenton stickers in there so you have the Fenton sticker, and then you have the other sticker that says um, that it is hand-painted. Uh, you don't typically see both stickers on there. And then it is signed by the individual that did the hand-painting. And the bell measures to... Six and a quarter inches at its tallest point, and Andrea is ready. She's on the ready. She says, show your glow. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I got to turn this light off. There she is. There she glows. Yeah, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Look at that panda. Yeah. Pretty rad. Pretty rad. <laughs> and it is this it this must be it it can be yours for a low price of only 15 dollars give me number five for the 1984 fenton mother's day uranium glass custard glass hand bell Andrea, congratulations. You are the winner. Winner, winner, bamboo dinner. Congratulations. All right. Next up, we have some more Fenton. So this is, I love these. This is a Fenton milk glass hobnail. Um, I really like it because of the detail beaded handles. So you get the beads, almost like the mini hobnails on the handles. And I love the lines on these, too. The lines are fabulous. Um, and then you have the crimped tops as well. 
Um, I had these listed for $29.99, uh, but I'm going to give you guys a really low price. Uh, they this does have the Fenton sticker on the inside. So you get these mini individual sugar and creamer hobnail by Fenton for a low price of only $11 if you give me number 39. Number 39. Fenton Hobnail Individual Sugar and Creamer with the Fenton sticker. Only $11 if you give me number 39. I'm going in this order. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. So next up, this is probably my favorite piece of the evening. This is a stunning piece, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here it is. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. This is Imperial Glass. The name of the pattern is Buttons and Cane. It is uranium glass, obviously. You have the opalescent, open-edged. I mean, look, in, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely stunning piece, guys. Fabulous. Is it lime yellow? No, it's all green. All green. Yeah. And yes, this bad boy does glow. Yes, it does. Look at that piece, guys. Absolutely stunning. Fabulous piece here. And it can be yours. For a low price, oh, I will measure, sorry. The bowl is six inches wide and two and a quarter inches tall, and it can be yours for a low price of $21. Give me number seven. Number seven for $21 gets you the Imperial Glass Cane and Button Uranium Glass Opalescent Open Edge Bowl. Congratulations, Andrea. You are the winner. Winner, winner, Imperial Glass Dinner. Congratulations. All right. Up next, we have another piece of vintage jewelry. This is a gold-plated, intricately done flower pin. Look at how that pin is made. Oh, man. It's kind of... It's from Italy. I believe it is from Italy, says Ma Dukes. It is fabulous. Show them the clasp. That is the clasp. See the clasp. It's that little European style clasp for you. Yeah, I'm trying to show it to them. It does have the European style clasp. I don't know how people sell jewelry all the time like this. I got to get the nice camera up. There you go. You can see there it, it is. It's like a little mob on the end. Uh, does have the European clasp. I get the light. Come on, focus, damn it. It's hard because it looks like lace. It looks like it's made of lace. Yeah. Pull it back a little bit towards you. There it is. Look at that. Super rad. And it can be yours for a low price. Measure, measure, measure. It's about an inch and a quarter wide. And it can be yours for a low price of only $7. If you give me number 36. Number 36. Seven dollars gets you this awesome brooch. Mm -hmm. 
What's going on, Cap Guy? All right. Next up, we have another piece of uranium glass. This is a Hazel Atlas pitcher. I'm going to call it a beer pitcher. It's not as quite big as a beer pitcher, but it's quite up there. Um, and this was made specifically for A&J Echo Company. You can see down there at the bottom, it does have the A and the J. Down in there, see that at the bottom? A and J. Really rad piece. And I will show the glow. And there she goes. There she glows. Really awesome piece. Yes, she glows. Oh, man, that is rad. All right. And it does measure to be at its tallest point, five and a half inches. Handle to spout is six and three-fourths inches. No. And it can be yours for a low price of only $15. I don't think it's knife and fork. Um, it could be possibly, I know that Hazel Atlas makes this, but I don't know if it is or not. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, now you got me thinking it might be, but it can be yours. For the price of $15, if you give me number 11. Let it glow, let it glow, let it glow. Yeah. Kevin, you are the winner. Congratulations. Winner, winner. Uranium glass pitcher dinner. All right. Next up, we have another piece of jewelry. This is a very special piece of jewelry. So this is actually, I want to, I almost want to say it's like a Lucite. Um, this is made by Lisa Stein in Paris. If you look up Lisa Stein's stuff, um, some of it can sell upwards of $65. This is a really... You can't even see. It's almost like a three-dimensional rainbow, the way that she designed this. It's so cool. It's from the 70s. Probably. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I really wish you could see how awesome this is. Like, look how it looks like it's layered, right? But that's just the way that it's painted. It's not actually layered. It's super crazy. And it is marked on the back. It says Jill Stein Paris on the clasp. And like I said, some of her pieces sell upwards of 60 something dollars. It's crazy. And it can be yours for a low price of only $13 if you give me number 37. Number 37, $13 will get you the Jill Stein Paris pin brooch rainbow. Lucite, made in Paris. Stacy Brown. Stacy, congratulations! You are the winner. Winner, winner, rainbow dinner. Stacy Brinkley. All right. Next up, um, I think this is probably like the best deal of the night as far as price goes. Um, just because I've seen this bull sell as high as seventy dollars. Um, this is definitely old, late 1800s, maybe early 1900s. It is blown glass. It has the pond tail on the bottom. Uh, this is a satin custard rose bowl. It's almost like case glass. You can kind of see that it's white on the inside of the ruffles. Absolutely gorgeous rose bowl here. It measures to be about three and three-fourths inches wide, and it is three inches tall. And I'm going to give it to you guys for a crazy low price. It oh, it glows. You ready? Show your glow. Yes, yes, indeed. Kevin might want to rethink that. 
Look at that beauty. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Rose bowl, uranium glass, satin, custard, glass, cased, blown, awesome, rad. $19. Give me number 21. Number 21 gets you the antique rose bowl, uranium glass, custard glass. Bluegrass picker coming in out of nowhere. Congratulations, Anthony. You are the winner. Hey, Nick, what's going on, brother? Hope all is well across the pond. I miss you guys, man. I've just been so busy. But you know I love you guys, and I hope you and the family are doing well. So, all right, Nate. Take care. Don't forget, everybody, go subscribe to my man, Nate. Give him some love. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so listen up. It is Cyber Monday, so we are going to do overtime a little bit different tonight. I have a buffet of items to the right of me that I am going to 37. What was 37? That must have been the Rose Bowl. Oh, that was 37 was the Lisa Stein rainbow. Oh, naked and laughing. You need to uh refresh. You're you're very behind right now. Refresh your uh YouTube so you can catch up. So yes, so we are going to literally slash prices right now as I show them. I'm going to slash the price and then show you the new price. And I'm just going to show the number and the item um, and give everybody a second opportunity to buy some of these things at a lower than the already low price they are at. And remember, we do have, oh, is that the only piece of uranium glass I didn't sell? Is this one? Yeah. All right. All right. You guys ready for overtime? The uranium glass, custard glass, mixing bowl, now at a low price of $9. Give me $28.9.28. Anthony, bluegrass picker. Congratulations, buddy. You are the winner. All right, next up in overtime. Slashed price. Fenton, milk glass, hobnail, sugar, and creamer, $9. Look at this. This has a price tag of $30 on there. I'm going to give it to you guys for $9. Sugar and creamer, milk glass, hobnail, $9, number 39. Drop my marker. Where did it go? Oh. Oh. You got it? Yeah. All right. Next up in the overtime. is the art vase, art pottery, mid-century modern, number 38 is only $11. $11. All right, let's Next up is the sterling silver leaf and flower cutout band ring. Fifteen 
dollars. What do you want, Bud Bud? What's the matter, little man? Sterling silver ring with the leaf and flower cutouts. Fifteen dollars. Number twenty nine. All right. The green enamel kettle by Copco with the wood handle and wood top can be yours for a low price of only fifteen dollars. Number twenty four. Number twenty four, fifteen dollars. Melanie, congratulations. You are the winner. Serendipity, Melanie. You are the winner. Winner, winner, enamel dinner. Congratulations. All right. Next up is... The Hall China Rose Parade Sugar and Creamer is now only $11.00. With the number 19, Sugar and Creamer Hall China Rose Parade is only $11 with number 19. Hall China Rose Parade. Oh, is it? No. no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Carrie, Casey Addicts, you are the winner. Congratulations. Winner, winner, Rose Parade dinner. All right. And the laced Italian gold plated brooch is now five dollars, number thirty six. I got to walk him soon. Oh, we're almost done. And next up is 36. Congratulations, Sandy Otto. You are the winner. Winner, winner. Laced brooch dinner. Next up is the Garnet Sterling Silver. Size... Six ring for only fifteen dollars. Number thirty. Sterling silver and garnet ring, size six. Number thirty, fifteen dollars. I know, honey. Just give me a minute, here, buddy. And the Daisy and Button Blue Glass Crooked Shoe can be yours for now only five dollars, number sixteen. Sixteen goes to Victoria. Victoria, congratulations. You are the winner. Winner, winner. Blue shoe dinner. All right. Next up, we have the three ceramic 1970s animal brooches. You have the duck. You have the... Parrot, and this is these are brooches. You have the parrot, and you have the teddy bear, and you can have all three of those for a low price of only seven dollars if you give me number 35. Number 35 gets you all three animal pins. Kathy, congratulations. You are the winner. Number 
All right. Next up is the Milk Glass Irish Coffee Coffee Mugs. You get the pair for only $5. Give me number 26. Go ahead, take them out. I finish. Number 26, Irish Coffee Milk Glass Mugs for only $5. And the Corky Pig Mid-Century Modern Planter. Awesome piece. Only $11 now. If you give me number 27, number 27, $11 will get you the Corky the Pig Planter. $11, number 27. Serendipity by Melanie. Congratulations. You are the winner. Great one. Congratulations. Melanie is having a good night tonight. Oh, congratulations, Melanie. All right. And last up, we have the Cocker Spaniel Three Dog Planter, number 34, $5. All right. Congratulations, Steve. You are the winner. Steve also had a good night tonight. Congratulations, Steve. Winner, winner. That is the end of dinner. I want to thank everybody, as always. I really appreciate all the love and support. Um, we might... We probably will not be here um, for a sale next week. Uh, I'm going to take a Monday off. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. <laughs> um, and I just don't I don't want to burn out. And I'm going to try and get you guys some, you know, I'm going to try and restock inventory and get you guys some new some new things for the live sales and <laughs> Casey Attic says, who approved your time off? Josie, Josie approved it. Um, it's not really time off. I'm still going to be working. I'm just, I'm going to take a Monday off from the sales and all the lives. I, uh, I need to focus on, on trying to get some more listing done because I am, uh, I'm running a little tight. So I need to just, you know, Take take a day off and get get back to the drawing board, and then I'll be back the next Monday to uh, hopefully have you guys some new and exciting crazy stuff. But I just want to thank everybody as always. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. You make this all happen for me, um, and I can't thank you guys enough. Hey, we uh. We identified your uh, item. It's pretty awesome. So make sure you check that out. Um, and I'll send you a email too about something else. So thank you guys. Once again, I can't thank you enough. You guys rock. Everybody have a lovely evening. Have a great week. And I'll see you guys soon. And hopefully I, I drop other videos too. So if you guys want to watch those videos, it'd be cool too. So I'm going to try and post some new new uh content for you guys in this week also but everybody have a great night love you guys don't forget to email the your information to the email scrolling across the bottom of the screen everybody have a great evening peace